Welcome, welcome back. Hey, welcome back. I I said it, not him. Ignore him. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut you out. That's not. <laughs> All right, we're. There you go. Well, that was fun. I was scared. All right, so we just got our uh, collectible, not collectible, treasure chest. Okay, is this wolf like gone? What's he doing? I don't know. Just ignore it until it attacks you. Yeah, he's. One of the mods that we do have installed is going to make those animals maybe be smarter, so they're going to be behaving in a different way than I'm used to. So we're going to see. <laughs> it's mostly just because I don't want to deal with them. So. Yeah. It's annoying getting attacked by a wolf every five minutes, so. Yeah. All right, so we're going up the Bleak Falls Barrow. That's right. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna get a rare ancient artifact of the dragons, and also while we're at it, we're grabbing a golden claw, but and killing some bandits. Yeah, we're gonna do some stabby stabby stuff right now. Oh, we'll see. Nah. A bad time to get lost, <laughs> ah. Sure. <laughs> Can you can you block arrows with a sword? No. Okay, I was gonna say. I wish you could. That'd be kind of cool. I uh, feel like if you had really really good like luck, maybe I could see it maybe happening. <laughs> Owned. Oh, look at that! Some the keeps me it in. Oh, nice. Um, is that good? Uh, it's fine. It, it's technically, I think, a part of a mod. Uh, at this point, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm being completely honest. I thought it was, but I mean, if it's in here, maybe it's not. All right. Uh, Lock picks. Yeah, those are always good. Oh, I need to preserve my inventory a little bit. Yeah. Anything worthwhile? I highly doubt it. Nope. I don't know why I actually check that. You never really need to check those. <laughs> Unless if you're, like, playing on survival. Mm. I was going to say, uh... <laughs> you're going to take every mug. No, that's what David did. And I was embarrassed to see what... See how he is playing Skyrim. You gotta learn somehow. Huh. Or, or hood. Nah. Hunting bow? Eh. Arrows, I will always take some arrows. Studded armor. I mean, the way that I kind of look at it is oh. you take what you can and sell it. That's, that's fair. Um, where is that? Large knapsack. I'm guessing... I don't know what mod that's a part of. I know it's a part of something, because that's not in the base game. Hmm. But... Eh. So, we're actually at Connor's place. Yeah. Uh, playing today yeah if you notice the mic quality is a little better and that's because he brought his microphone i have one on the way but <laughs> just not yeah. yet yeah i peer pressured him into getting a, a yeti is that's the one that and that's the type that i have and i really like it it's a a good quality for the price of the mic yeah, well, you know, we were supposed uh, supposed to get it yesterday, but then they decided that we were, they weren't going to try and deliver it. Say that they gave me instructions. Um, oh. Ow! Ah! Ow! Wow, you're getting your butt kicked by petty bandits. Oop. Oop. I saw that, and now I know where he's at. You should just run at him. I mean, I will once I find. Oh, there they are. Oh, weave and dodge, weave and dodge. Yeah. Choppy chop. Nice. More like stabby stab. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Slicing this. We're working on it. Um, her armor with sleeves. Nah. What was that? That's kind of valuable for wine, but uh, where are those other corpses at? There's one right there, and yeah. then there's one up on that ledge. Wait, was that Steel Great Sword? Steel Great Sword. Yes, it is. Ooh, that's heavy. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a Steel Great Sword. Yeah, you're right. Man, 
everything is gonna be massive. Yeah. I have never actually done a full playthrough as a two-handed person, so this is new for me. Oh, really? Yeah, I've always done Mage or Stealth Archer, because, I mean, who hasn't done Stealth Archer playthrough? Okay, David hasn't. He doesn't understand the power of the Stealth Archer. It's literally the most overpowered thing in the whole world, so... <laughs> Alright, I don't... Oh, wait, I know there's some loot around up here. This is purely just definitely uh, pre-existing knowledge, but so Ooh, the depth. Ah, oh man, so much easier with a controller. Yeah, I imagined because you get the vibration instead. Yeah. Exactly. Ooh, you're almost to level two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't even leveled up. I'll probably level up in a second here because I'm going to sleep in here. But mm. You level up from just sleeping? No. I just, that's how I like to play. I don't like to level up unless if I have my character rest. All right. All right. These dark, these dark sections are going to be pretty dark. With the, they're hard to see with the um, sun coming through the. Yeah, well, we can take care of that in a second. Hey, hey, I see you. Oh. Ha. Got us. Well, my only issue with fighting in with a uh, controller is. It's very easy for me to, like, kind of mis-aim. Yeah, it is. It's harder, you know, to aim. Um, on a, like, controller and a mouse, so. Mm -hmm. That's why games with Halo, though, are so much fun, because it's so much easier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, um. I think I do have a torch. I'm gonna walk around here because I know there's some people to loot. I don't. Rip. Do I want a woodcutter's axe? I don't. Um, I don't really think there's anything in here, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna allow myself to sleep. Feel pretty safe to at least take a little bit of a nap. Can stuff attack you while you're sleeping? I don't think. But I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll get full eight hours. It's time to level on up. Alright. I feel well rested. Do you? Yes. Uh, we'll start off with some health. And more health. Oh, three levels. Okay. So we have three levels. So I know what I'm putting it in. Oh, Okay, so you, can you not level up unless you sleep? No, you can. Like I said, I'm just not doing it unless if I rest. Because, you know, if you're resting, then your character, that's actually your person. You need the rest to get improve at stuff normally, so, you know. That was light armor, and now you're taking two handed. Yeah, I've got. Bleeding damage. Critical. Ooh. Oh wait, that's Warhammers. Um, yeah. That's with great swords. Critical. So it depends on like what you want to kind of specialize in. Yeah. Um, I might do smithing as well though. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Don't really need to worry about block. Maybe lockpick. Maybe speech. Need to worry about speech. Speech is kind of one of those skill trees. It's just like, why bother? <laughs> like, there's ways to make it better, but I think I'm just gonna keep going on to work. Well, let's see what light armor has as well in it. Yeah. And I mean, you don't necessarily have to take something right away. No, you don't. I'd like to, though. Might as yeah. well. Um, 40% more, or 40% more damage, or power. I like doing power attacks, actually, so we'll just do that. And then we'll probably go for deep wounds, and yeah. we'll just go on the light armor. 
Um, the trees that we'll probably focus on is going to include lock picking, beach, and alchemy, and possibly restoration once maybe. Oh, yeah, and smithing. Smithing's also going to be very important. Yeah. All right. Time to continue into the bowels of the dungeon. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, the audio isn't too, like, echoey. We. <laughs> Unfortunately, Connor's apartment is... It's very spacious. Spacious. And but, echoey. Yeah. <laughs> there, There's nothing on the walls. Hey, I put some stuff up. Not in here. Not in this portion of the room, no. And it's all... Uh, not necessarily hardwood, but like uh, wooded floors, not, um, not carpet, like my apartment is. Just gotta flex me like that, don't you? And at least my heat works. Hey. <laughs> I will get a space heater eventually. I mean, heat works, just expensive. Well, it's one of those, like, window heater type things, right? Yeah, it's an electric heater. It's, like, on the floor. It's really stupid. Yeah. Something real quick. Okay. Yeah, so currently we're all bundled up <laughs> while <Yeah>. we're playing. <laughs> Northeast Ohio in the winter time can get cold. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's not as bad as some places, but no, nowhere close to as bad. Let's we'll try and sneak up on them. Better idea. <laughs> it sits here for two hours. Levels up, sneak five times. Hmm. Wow, what a. What a dope. Yeah, I imagine, like, it's really hard to die from those things. So, yeah, the... Ooh, torch. I will say the traps in this game are pretty obvious. Oh, absolutely. Very obvious. But, you know. Um, you should try uh, pulling the lever. See what happens. I'm not... <laughs> I think... I, I'm surprised I don't just have it memorized. Where did I get that spell book? Where did I grab that? Um, I was going to laugh if you accidentally used the lever. Nah, I'm not that stupid. I could have sworn that he had the book on him. Because there's a... Come here, bud. That's an axe. That is an axe. I know there's a book. I just want to... I don't think I, everyone's aware of... Um, but, I mean, I like read a lot. There's a journal I'm looking for. Nah. Or, uh, a torch. There is a torch. I like torches. Yes. They add a good aesthetic to the game, too. So, well, my one criticism is that you hold it really close to your face. <laughs> like, unreasonably close to your face. Oh, I mean, you gotta... That like that's the thing with uh, realism versus um, convenience in a game. Like what what is too real and what is too convenient? I mean, it's easy to program to be just like that. Yeah, because it's literally just like you're holding a weapon. Yeah. But there's a mod for it. I just didn't install it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll I'll just go ahead and do the solution. It's really. Wait, oh, no, 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 I'm an idiot. Okay, not yet. There's a book later. Um, so we got, let's see, snake. Snake, snake, and then I think it's the last one up there. Oh, I think no, whale. Second. Whatever that is. Whale, yeah. Woo, good job for not dying. Thanks, I try. That's debatable. Ooh, dramatic music. Ooh. <laughs> Completely unwarranted music. It's not unwarranted. <laughs> I heard him. Kind of. Did you? <laughs> no. I heard him <laughs> at the last second. <laughs> As he was attacking you? Yes. I hated that book. That was a dishonorable book. 
It's honorable book? Yes. Because it's about thievery. I am a true nord of Skyrim. Says the person who's locked pick. Yes. A couple times. But lock picking is acceptable because I want stuff. <laughs> Skeever. This. Is a skeever supposed to be like a rat type yeah. of thing? Okay. Although, uh, weirdly enough, they look strangely like my old dog. That is an insult to my old dog. <laughs> uh oh, there's a whole bunch of spider webs. I wonder what that could mean. I don't know. Couldn't possibly mean uh, some guy who's about to betray you. Well, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Did not see him. He jumped into the air about, uh, for about an inch. Yes, it is. Oh, whoops. I'm just gonna like. Wait one moment here while I let my oh, crawl back. I need food. Actually, I do. I thought I did a lot, but <laughs> I don't remember picking that up. You'd think that the food would help, like, increase your health or something. Yeah, no, they didn't think that when they played this game. <sighs> For some reason, you still think this game is better than Breath of the Wild. It is. Oh, no! Okay, no, this is the, the guy, right? Yeah, this is the guy. Okay. Oh, that's a different texture I'm used to seeing. That's a <laughs> lot more morbid. <laughs> You're gonna actually see their face and... ew. Gross. Hey, I will get to you when I want to. Should have been weak and gotten tied up by a spider. A wounded spider at that. Okay, you probably wounded it, but... Gross. I don't know if I like those new textures or not. <laughs> Got really dark in here. Yeah, it did. Uh, All right, so you it. It. Now cut me down this guy is kind of a jerk. Hey, just let it unfold. <laughs> What's where's the golden claw? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the problems. markings, the door, and the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Do you now? Help me down, and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. You mean the power of me? <laughs> Sweet breath of arcade. Thank you. Absolutely would be cutting him to pieces right now. <laughs> Alright, so... He was gonna run. <laughs> yeah, basically this is what happens if you let him live. He runs, and um, then you don't get the claw. Or you have to track him down. You have the, no, you don't have to track him now. you just catch him. Yeah. Okay, I can't remember that thing was the actual track. I think I already walked over it, but... Oh yeah, let's, uh... We'll read the book real quick. Because if you read it, you'll find out how... I, I didn't... 11-year-old me did not understand... 12-year-old me did not understand this at the time. I just YouTubed it, but, uh... Mm. My fingers are trembling. The Golden Claw is finally in my hands, and with it, the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. That fool Luke and Belarius had no idea that his favorite store decoration was actually key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now I just need to get to the Hall of Stories and unlock the door. The legend says there is a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away, but that when you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. Now, what could that mean? Hmm. 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 Oop, uh... <laughs> Accidentally throws away Claw. Look at that. We got a bear, we got a moth, and we got an owl. Yep. That torch. There is one mod I think I might want to consider adding. 
Um, because we're definitely going to become a, uh, a werewolf. And there's a mod made by Gopher that allows you to actually have night vision. It sounds very practical. <laughs> I kind of want it right now. So we're becoming a werewolf? We will eventually. You don't need to know the details yet. Mm, I think I do. No, that's spoilers. Spoilers. Can I more into this dungeon? Yeah, it's a very big dungeon. Oh, draggers. Draugr. Draugr. You just hurt my soul. Good. Uh oh. I live to hurt your soul. I'm aware. Ow! You got hit. I'm aware. <laughs> nice. Nice block. I cannot wait to decapitate fools. Oh yes, that is, that is one of the fun things with uh, doing a, a great sword. Oh, you can do that with any weapon. Yeah, but it's funnier with a great sword. Okay, that I, I guess I can't argue that, that logic. Oh, I did not want to pick that up. What did you pick up? That. Okay, that's actually bad. No, it's not that valuable. I'll drop both of those. <laughs> Funny story, though. This one friend, well, friend, quote unquote, when this game first came out, and like, you know, it's like all that we were talking about, um, he talked to uh, my friend and I, like, in first period in algebra. You and should step on that stone, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't die. Um, Tried stepping on it again. No. <laughs> okay, you know what? Actually, uh, it's tempting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to deal with that though. Um, but he, for some reason, thought that they were called Drogar. Oh, he's got a lot of health. He's got a lot of health. I should not listen to. You. Okay. Or maybe you should have listened to me again. I guess I would have started me over at full health. <laughs> but yeah, he got. He thought it was called Drogar, and we we're like, uh, no. He got so mad at us, though. It was so funny. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It didn't really particularly like this friend, but you know, I hear someone. There he is. I got lucky with that. <laughs> I really like these glowing eyes, though. That's a that is a mod thing, actually. Yeah, I was wondering that because it looked different. Ow! Bitch. Choppy to chop. Is that all of them? So, what are, like, they're basically zombies, right? They are ancient Nords um, that have been basically tasked with defending the burial crypts. Um, they, they're dragon worshippers, actually. Okay. Um. So yeah, they're all ancient Nords. They are essentially zombies, though. Because okay. we see a lot of them. Yes. Like, throughout the game. Yes, you do. That and you get to see uh, dwarven ruins and stuff, and uh, Balmer. Who? Ooh, that's an interesting story. Actually, we'll get there when we get there. But it's uh. We'll get there when we get there. Quite literally. I, heads up, though, I absolutely hate Dwarven Ruins. I hate them. They're <laughs> massive. They always take forever to get through. So I'm not the biggest fan. It just takes so freaking long. And especially when you're playing with a survival mod on, it's not necessarily the most pleasant experience. Hmm. I feel like I'm playing a Tomb Raider game now. Oh, no, I'm not running. Yeah. Eh, it's Oh, uh, that's... Wait, what do I have? You might want to be careful, because I think there might be a... Oh, yeah, there absolutely are Drucker ahead. Um, this area. Huh. Huh. Oh, there we go. I don't know why that's not working. Oh, well. I'll figure that out later. Um... Alright. Okay. Oh, hi there. Yeah, if you can get, like, the drop on them as they're coming out. It's really easy. Yeah. It's 
still love these glowing eyes though. It makes them so much more spooky. <laughs> yeah. Makes it feel like they're actually possessed bodies or yeah. like uh cursed bodies. <laughs> oh, I thought that'd work. <laughs> Nice. Got that a second. Oop. Uh oh. He he wasn't fooled. Although he goes down pretty easily. Yeah, he does. Uh oh. He's got a big one. Uh oh. Ah. <laughs> Should have used some healing potions. I didn't think I'd need to. I was trying to preserve it for the boss fight. Oh no, how far back are we? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Right. Um, well, at least you have full health. Actually, yeah, why do I have full health? Whatever. Well, I mean, when you saved, you had full health. Oh, did I? Okay. Yeah, because you saved before... Is there any other ones? What? Is there any others in this... Room. No, I think so. that was it. Um, but then there's more down here. Yeah. Is this him? Yep, I would say so. Nice. Ah, All right, then there's that arrow guy over there. Oh wait, what? Oh, there's a third or fourth. Oh well. There's a chest up here. You're doing all right, bud. I'm struggling. Ooh. Aww. There we go. Nice. I was actually watching a neat little video about lock picking yesterday. Is there a reason for this? No, I just Should I be saw... concerned? Just saw it in my in the YouTube feed. Okay. If you say so. Lockpicking seems like a very interesting skill to have. Yeah, it does, actually. I, I remember having like a phase like in like middle school or something. I was like, it would be really cool to learn this. And then I looked at that video and never tried again. <laughs> also, I think my parents yelled at me I'm not allowed to try in our locks because otherwise it might break it. <laughs> <laughs> not joking. Yeah, I can see that. I don't know why this isn't working, but... Okay. Yeah, you should try sneaking through there. Yeah. Why can't you play Limbo with it? Dang it. Oh well. It's not like it. Yeah, a sprint button's not working for me right now, so it's just something I need to troubleshoot later. Yeah. You know, imagine if, like, actually, like, hitting this <laughs> could actually trigger it to fall on you. That'd be kind of fun. That'd be actually kind of cool. <laughs> not gonna <laughs> lie. I might look into adding. I'm sure there's something for it. Either. Uh oh. Okay, you should probably try and kill him before he. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel. Oh, wow, you can more stuff this time. Need to. I probably was... should have done like a uh, a bow instead. I, not an archer. I know. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, that wasn't <laughs> smart, buddy. Yeah, when <laughs> when you try and taunt in Smash Bros and then someone just <laughs> annihilates you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he should have known better. Ooh, resist fire. That might come in handy. You taunt after you kill them. Yeah, like while they're respawning. Yeah. That is a, one game, though, that I will forever never like. Just because I suck at it. I am so oh. bad at that game. I mean, I understand, but also you shouldn't dislike a game. I mean, I don't because... dislike it like as in, like, I hate it. It's just I don't like playing it. Mm, okay. Because, like, I'm so bad at it that the AI literally owns me, so... <laughs> Uh-oh. You like more of that? Well, uh, okay. I was gonna say, you should probably pause so we can cut it out. Yeah. Oh, well. That's fine. Here, let's uh, get to the 
room of stories, and then we'll, um... Don't these people know that you're busy? No. Okay, I suppose that's fair. Normally you don't have much of a life, so... Hey! <laughs> that's not where you're supposed to go with that. <laughs> but am I wrong? Yes. I thought there was more in here. Oh well. Are you complaining? No, not really. I mean, I just like loot, but, you know, who doesn't like loot? A dead person, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I don't think these droggers know or care. And now I just want to ironically call them Drogar. <laughs> um, Drogar. Yes, it doesn't even look like it. Just like... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the, like, click box on these things. They're so weird. Hi, friend. Come and get me. You won't do it. You won't do it. He did it. Yeah. I do think that, well, like... Well, actually, that... Was that a lady droker? Oh. Droker. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yes, it was. Okay. Nord women are hardy folk. I mean, just look at Brienne. Exactly. Is there anything down here? Yes. Okay. Trust me, I've done this dungeon many a time. I also know where a few hidden chests are at at the uh, final boss room that we're gonna grab. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you lost on a novice. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes there's like 1% health left in a, uh... In a lockpick. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Doesn't mean that I'm not going to give you a little bit of crap for it, okay, but... Okay, <laughs> okay. How much is left in the dungeon? I... Well, I know... I want to get to the Hall of Swords, so that's about the halfway point, or close to the end of it. Okay. Oh, my... I hate these freaking glowing mushrooms suck. I do appreciate that they don't take all of them so they can regrow. That's why. <laughs> totally. They're being environmentally conscious. No, they're not. Hi, friend. Oh, shit! <laughs> No, oh, I need the block. I need the block. Okay. Uh, I want to heal up. Yeah. <laughs> My only problem with the healing potions is I never seem to find enough. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you hear that laugh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've noticed that before. <laughs> that's new. I don't know. I didn't like it though. <laughs> uh, well, funny story. I was at this concert the other night, and like the main band, like someone was sick or something like that, so they pulled some random dude in. <laughs> he, okay, it wasn't actually random. It was like a different band. But, oh my god, the vocalist. Oh my god, he sounded like he was like just wailing, like in the most demonic way possible. Like, and it was. Just, we left early. It was so bad. <laughs> It was so bad. Like, we were like, yeah, we kind of feel bad leaving early. And then we're just like, yeah, never mind. We don't feel bad anymore. <laughs> All right, here we go. This, but, uh, this awesome. is a good stopping point. So uh, we'll go ahead and continue on from here in the next one. All right. Thanks for watching.